All right, um, so I've kind of been requested to do a kind of tutorial on how to make a vehicle go from a download to a 5M ready vehicle. Now, I'm going to be putting out a few different videos. Um, it's going to happen in a kind of serious type of way. Um, so this first one is essentially just going to be how you grab a vehicle from a download, uh, whether it's 5M ready uh, add-on, which is in a single player, or a replace vehicle, which is also in a single player. Um, and then essentially how you get them ready for 5M. Um, so the vehicles of choice I've got here uh, is this Audi R8 uh, by RS Mods, which is the, the 5M ready one as it says right here. I have an Audi RS7 Sportback by Emeta1999, uh, which is the add-on one. And then I've got a 2015 Mustang S550, which is from Razorblade. This is the replace vehicle. So starting off quite simply, uh, I'll start off with the 5M vehicle. This is extremely simple. So you download it, you open up the folder. It's gonna give you the WinRAR thing. All right, then you go into the folder here. It has add on 5M. Spawn code is R820. And here you've got everything you need. So what you do is you go to whatever designated folder you have for vehicles. Uh, mine is located in resources. And then I have square bracket cars, square bracket. I then essentially just drag and drop this into my folder. Here you go. I've got everything set up I need in here now. 5M ready mods are by far the easiest mods to download. It is quite literally a drag and drop. Now, moving on to the add on version. Uh, it's still super simple, um, although there's a few more things you need to do. So, obviously, you start off with downloading it like usually. You open it up. Go to add on. Spawn code is RS7C8. Uh, obviously, you do need OpenIV for this part, um, but you open up the DLC.RPF. You press OK when it asks you for administrative terms. You then wait for it to load. All right. Now, when we're inside here, you have data, x64, and then content is set up. You don't really need to worry about it at all. Um, the way I like to do them is I start by x64, I go to vehicles.rpf, and then I have my YFT, higher YFT, and YTD. So what I do is I'll grab a random resource.lua. I know this one works, so I'll copy that. I'll make a new folder called RS7C8. Go into the folder paste the resource.lua, make a stream folder, and then I drag and drop the YFT, high YFT, and YTD into the stream folder. Now that that's done, uh, the game now knows to stream this exact model. After that, um, I don't have anything else in here. Uh, sometimes you'll see vehicle mods, which is for any kind of uh, spoilers, front bumpers, rear bumpers, etc, whatever. And after that's done, you want to go to the data folder, here you've got your car calls, car variations, DLC text, handling, and vehicle start meta. Uh, for some, this might be different. Uh, for some, you might have a folder called levels, which is where you'll find the vehicle start meta for a file. Uh, in here, all you really need uh, is essentially car variations and handling and vehicle start meta or vehicle start meta. Um, the reason why I don't really need anything else is based on the fact that this card doesn't have any kind of modifications, like a spoiler. Um, however, for the sake of making it easy, I'll drag and drop everything over. Now, that's obviously done. Um, you don't need to do anything else to make a vehicle uh, 5 and ready from an add-on. Now, the more tedious process is getting a replace vehicle and making this 5 and ready. Um, by me saying tedious, yes, it's, it's still quite simple. Um, it'll just take a bit longer. So, when I open this up, I have a Ford Mustang folder, and then this replaces the Dominator, with the spawn code Dominator. So, what I'll do in this case is I'll start off like I did before, I'll just copy this resource, and then I get to decide the spawn code myself. So, for this example, I'll do Ford Mustang S550. That's what I'll make the spawn code of the car. I drag the resource that loom inside, I make a folder called Stream, I then drag and drop this inside. Now, I do have to go and rename these to Ford Mustang S550. Let's copy that. And replace that part. 
then replace that pot. Okay, so that's basically all there is to do for the YFTs and the YTD. Now, you don't have anything else to go with this vehicle because this is based off of a single player handling line, vehicle summit, a car variations, everything you need to make the vehicle work. Um, now, I've already got presets for handlings. So what I'll do in my case is I'll copy this one. I'll put it inside my Ford Mustang S550 folder. I'll then go and find a random car variations and a random vehicle stop meta. Copy that, go back in here. Now, the folder here isn't registering the spawn code as being a Ford Mustang S550 simply because I haven't changed anything in these three. So if I go inside here, this is the model name of the vehicle, which is tied to the model name here. Now, obviously the model name for these two is gonna be the same because I grabbed them from the same vehicle. Now, I'll change these to Ford Mustang S550, like that. TXT name, handling ID, game name, vehicle make, I'll just make it the same, it doesn't really matter. Like this one, that's the, the engine sound for the car. I'll go over that as soon as I touch on the meta files. And I'll make this dominator now just like that now save them uh, i do control s so you can go up to file and then you have save now i go back out go to handling.meta i've just made this x because i know it's something i'm replacing so handling name is ford mustang s550 i go into car variations model name like that if i scroll down to the bottom the zero default mod kit um i'm probably going to end up touching on what this exactly means um, and as you know, maybe if you have certain markets that don't work for certain cars and how you can actually make them work. Um, one thing I did forget to do is in the vehicle stop meta, you do also have a child at the bottom here. If you change this to uh, Ford Mustang S550 as well, uh, then you should be good to go. Now, obviously for any of these to work, uh, you need to ensure that your server.cfg is actually streaming them properly. So the way I've got my server.cfg set up is I've got my cars section, and then I'm ensuring square bracket cars, square bracket. Um, some people use start, some people use ensure. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of a preference thing. Um, I just like using ensure. Um, now, the key pointer here is that this needs to be exactly like it says right here. So it's all lowercase, square bracket, square bracket. Um, this needs to be the exact same. As soon as you've done that, um, you're essentially ready to load up your server. So. I'll do that real quick. <clears throat> All right, now that's done. Um, I have Steam open, which you need to do. Then you open up Fido. Now, obviously for some people, uh, launching your server might be faster than for others. Um, mine personally takes a bit of time because I've got a lot of stuff in my server. Also, since I have ENB and I have reshade, I usually turn that on while I'm loading in or turn off and turn on whatever I need to do. Like that. <clears throat> All right. Good. All right. I'll change daytime real quick. Do noon. Then we'll do extra sunny. On the street here. All right. So the reason why I make the folders themselves the same as the spawn code, it just simply makes it a bit easier when you're actually spawning and stuff. So starting off with the R820, this is by a Meta R820, and that works without any kind of issues. Um, it's dirt simple for a 5M uh, ready vehicle. It's like as you saw, it's a drag and drop. That's all there is to it. Um, and now this just works. So that's what's in perfectly fine. EVing that. I then have RS7C8. This was the, the single player one, uh, the add-on version, which we made into a 500 one. So it's RS7, the 8 And that works perfectly fine too. You know, nothing wrong with it. Lights work, everything works. Backfire works too. So yeah, that's basically it. Now, the one people usually have issues with it is the replace one. Uh, 
But if you did exactly what I just did uh, in showing how to actually do it, you should be perfectly fine. So I made the spawn code for Mustang S550. There you go, loading it in, and here we are. Now, obviously, if your dials don't work, that's a model issue. Um, otherwise, you should have a perfectly fine working vehicle. Um, the server is streaming it uh, without any problem. Engine mods work. Um, yeah. The quality of the model is obviously going to depend on the creator. Uh, like, you can't really see through the, uh, the boot. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's dirt simple. There's not much to it. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, concerns, problems, um, leave a comment. Uh, I'll reply to it as soon as I see it. Um, until then, I'll see you next time for the uh, most likely going to be the handling one. Um, I, I, might, I might cover all of the, uh, the dump metas in one video. Um, who knows? I'll see what it comes down to. Um, but other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.